Building your first PC, watch this video to avoid these beginner mistakes. Number one, once you have chosen the CPU you would like in your build, make sure that the motherboard you pick matches the CPU socket. For the Ryzen 5 7600X CPU, the socket is AM5, so pick a motherboard with an AM5 socket like the MSIB650 Tomahawk. For an Intel CPU like the i7-14700K, the socket type is LGA17100, so a motherboard like the MSI Pro Z790A Max Wi-Fi would be compatible. Number 2. When buying RAM, make sure that it is compatible with the motherboard. The two main RAM people use in their build are DDR4 or DDR5. Make sure to check the motherboard specs to see which DDR to use. Also, most PC builders buy two sticks of RAM and every ATX motherboard has four slots. So make sure to check the motherboard manual to see what configuration the RAM sticks are placed. This should be the configuration of the RAM sticks. Number three, fans in the PC are used to bring in cool air and exhaust hot air. When installing the fans, make sure the intake fans are on the right side of the case and the bottom. The exhaust fans are at the top and the left of the case as heat rises. Most fans have an arrow showing which way the fans intake air. However, the front side where the fans are clearly seen is where the air is intake, and the side where you can see the frames is the exhaust. Number four. When plugging in your monitor into the PC, make sure that you plug either the HDMI or DisplayPort into the GPU, not the motherboard. Otherwise, there will be nothing displayed on the monitor unless you have a CPU with integrated graphics. However, that will still not achieve the same amount of graphics as the GPU. The GPU helps handle graphics-related work like graphics, effects, videos, and for gaming it offers better performance and higher frame rates. Number five. When you are about to screw the CPU cooler, make sure that you have applied thermal paste on the CPU as this will help it keep cool. However, some CPU coolers come with thermal paste pre-installed and usually there is a plastic seal placed on too. Make sure that you remove the plastic seal so that the thermal paste touches the CPU, otherwise the CPU will overheat and... Finally, a website that I used when I built my first PC was PC Part Picker. It is very simple and easy to use. Also, it will show you what components are compatible. Also, there are many YouTube videos out there that show the process of building PCs for the first time, so make sure you guys do your research before buying any parts. Thank you very much for watching, and good luck on your first PC build.